hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm here and i'm bringing you another valentine's day design um this is kind of inspired by beyonce's song well it's not kind of it really is inspired by beyonce's song um so i am just going ahead and doing a little nail design with some water decals that i got from just vinyling around and i will be putting a link in the description box down below so you can go and check her out her work is amazing um, right here, I am starting off with my Nail Supply Glamour. Um, I believe this one is hot pink. And I'm just going to be applying this one on all of my pinky finger. Um, this one is just going to be a full solid hot pink color. And I will be encapsulating it after. Um, I am going to be adding an, a water decal on here. That is why I just left it plain as it is. I didn't know where my design was going so I skipped all the way over to my pointer finger and I ended up down do, uh, sorry guys I cannot talk I ended up doing that one um, so in love by nail supply glamour as well and it is an all solid red um, this is basically my favorite red to go to as in a bright bright red um, it's very very bright and like it gives that sexy vibe you know that very bright red look so that is always one of my favorite go-to's especially for valentine's day um you know it's all about love and everything so that is why i decided to just use this one and this one's going to be like i said an all solid red and of course i will be encapsulating after my application as well So as I previously said, I didn't know where this design was going. So I ended up just going ahead and adding the Sew in Love to my middle finger as well. Um, I just didn't know what kind of design I wanted to do or anything like that. And I hate overthinking stuff just because then it just doesn't come out as planned. And this is one of those designs that just didn't come out as planned. Um, I do like to post my nail designs. It didn't go as planned though because I want people to see what it is basically and not that not that everything is always perfect. Um, so yeah, I like to show my flaws as well. Um, I For the most part, I like the design. It was just a few hiccups here and there which you will see coming up. On my ring finger, I did go ahead and add that hot pink from Nail Supply Glamour as well. But this one's going to be having a side cutout. Um, so the tip of the nail will be all transparent. And I did go ahead and add some little little decals. Some little, some little decals. So that is basically it. I'm just putting this from my cuticle area to the middle of the nail tip. I'm not going all the way, like I said. So that is basically about it that I'm doing on this now. So right here, I am going in and adding some clear acrylic and I'm going to be adding these little decals, these little lip decals. Um, I got these from House of Supplies in my mystery pack, which was well worth it. So go ahead and check them out. I will be putting a link in the description box down below. What I did regret was not giving them a little bit of um, a dent. So I went ahead with this second one that I put on. I went ahead and grabbed it and I folded it up a little bit to give it that little dent so it can be kind of curvy and go well on my nail and after that i just encapsulated those two and that's all i did for those um for that now um right here i have filed and buffed and right here is where it gets tricky i didn't cut my water decal as i should have i left a lot left over because i really didn't think it was going to 
be that big so i did go ahead and cut it off a little bit like the tip and the sides um that way it could just fit a little bit smaller in the nail because i didn't want to encapsulate it because i love to encapsulate stuff like this because i just don't want to have basically that little percent chance of it just going away with just the gel polish you know the top coats i mean so that is why i like to encapsulate stuff so right here i am going ahead and doing my pinky finger which i said i was just going to add um a nail decal so i went ahead and did that um this one i did cut beforehand so it was smaller and this is basically perfect for me because even though you can see the redness of the decal i liked it that way um you know just to give it that little pop of color kind of like a different vibe i guess i want to say not just a very solid pink so that is why i went with pink on that finger to put on the decal so i did encapsulate but my encapsulation as you will see when i put my top coat it didn't come out as well as i wanted it to i did have a lot of bubbles and so yeah that is where my mess up was at guys it was crazy i just didn't have time to just fix it up right away so I just went ahead and moved on. Right here, I am doing um, while well, I'm writing Blow. So it's basically like the song. And I just felt like because of the water decals that I had, I just felt like it was like that type of vibe, you know? So, it might sound weird. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought about the song when I saw these stickers. So I'm, well, these decals. So I was like, let me go ahead and that's like my inspiration for it right the song blow by beyonce so right here i'm just writing the words and then i'm going to be going in and curing it and then i'll be going in with my not polished um rhinestone um adhesive and right here as you can see i just squeezed out from that bottle which works pretty well um it's not messy or anything like that so i went ahead and squeezed that out of the bottle and put it onto the nail and I didn't know what I was doing here, guys, either when I was adding my rhinestones. As you can see, I only put one rhinestone on my middle finger, but I went ahead and you will see that I'll be adding more um, after I'm done doing my ring finger. So right here, I am just following that line, that cut crease line, and I am just adding rhinestones to that now like that. And then I will be moving on back to my middle finger. So right here I am done with all of my nails and I added all of those rhinestones like I told you and this is where you do realize I messed up with that clear acrylic. I am putting on my top coat and of course you can see that glare of white which is like well it's the acrylic right but it's just like a white color and it's just I uh, just regretted it at the end. I did have some on my pinky finger as well. I just felt like my beads weren't as wet and i just that's where i messed up i really did mess up but anyways everybody has their flaws and all every once in a while so this was one my once in a while out of all the other times <laughs> and yeah but i really like the way this design came out it was just very plain and simple and that is about it guys right here i am putting my cuticle oil and that is all 
for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i really do hope that y'all like this design even though it's a little different leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching bye